up here in Solar Tasmania, playing with uh, more Victron. Awesome gear. This is something I just picked up off the shelf that Matt had in stock. It's a battery combiner. Now, the awesome trick about this is, what you can do, now I'm, I want to set one of these up, I'm going to actually get one of these and put this in uh, one of my utes. I'm actually going to set up a, like a big maintenance free battery in the back of the vehicle for an inverter and a charging system. And what I want to be able to do is be able to run the vehicle and charge the battery in the back. But when I stop the vehicle, I want the start battery to be completely left alone and leave the back battery as it is. I don't want to buy a DC to DC boost converter or a charger because any good brand one's expensive, any cheap brand one's not that great. So this is a simple option that I can use because it can continuously have 120 amps run through it. The maximum alternator rating of 150. So you can make it connect uh, automatically between 13 and 13.8 volts. So you can actually make it disconnect the back battery. You can make it start off the back battery for 30 seconds. So you actually put it in like an emergency start kind of scenario and you can make it start off the back battery. This little thing is amazing. It's only tiny. So you just got a switch that you can have as a starter assist so you can make your front battery as a starter. That simple. What an awesome trick. So what it'll do is it'll always protect your start battery from flattening. So Matt's got these little beasts up at Solar Tasmania for about 120-ish dollars. Contact him for exact pricing. But this actually has an awesome little start assist circuit. So what you do is you inline a switch onto these two terminals and you can actually make the back battery that you're using for your storage, whether it be for uh, inverters, fridges, whatever, to boost the front battery for front battery, which actually starts your vehicles failing. So you can actually use that both directions uh, and it will do it automatically for 30 seconds you press the button for 30 seconds it will transfer current you should be able to hit the key and start your vehicle again so it'll protect your front battery from the loads at the back whether it be a fridge or something as substantial as an inverter and it also protect and it will also allow you to fix the start battery if the start battery fails on you so awesome little bit of kit that you don't even have to think about. It's got the cut in and cut out voltages all listed on there. I've got there so you can see. It's that easy. Solid lead acid battery cell. Yep. Absolute, absolute gem to protect your battery. And use your alternator and the existing charging system in whatever vehicle up to 150 amps to keep your rear battery charged. So if you do a bit of driving and you've got a camper van, caravan, Trade it with a ute and an inverter, anything like that. That is an ideal setup. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Visit the links down in the top of the video description. Subscribe over this side. More videos over here. Thanks heaps for watching. Catch you on the next one.